Women's History Month to honor that the American Jazz Museum in the 18th and Vine District is featuring a slew of women singers and musicians. And the now KC's Tara Hall sat down with one of them to learn all about the healing power of music. Women musicians have been involved in jazz music since its birth, but often their accomplishments aren't as well known or trumpeted, so to speak, as the men in the genre. Channeling jazz greats like Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday, Stephanie Moore takes the Blue Room stage. I love hearing chord structures. I love hearing how the notes fit together, and I go, oh my God, it's like a complete new sound. It's the first time in months that she's been well enough to belt out the velvety smooth songs from America's jazz age. Every song is different. It's kind of like every flower is different. You can have a bunch of daisies and you'll see something slightly different in one that may inspire you. You see, Stephanie has lupus, an autoimmune disease. Unable to decipher the good cells from the bad, her own body is attacking itself, damaging vital tissues and organs. I've been singing off and on uh, because the music for me is it's my therapy, it's my medicine, it's part of my wellness team along with my doctors. And that's precisely why she sings, to give a voice to herself and her disease. Going to Kansas City. Regardless of if you have lupus or any other illness, you still have a song within you that needs to be heard. Everybody has a song. And now Stephanie invites you to hear her song. She plays at the Blue Room at 18th and Vine with the Max Berry and Friends Band. The cover is 10 bucks.